Hey there, everybody. My name is Russ. I'm here in the Creative Live studio with Ted Lenhart, who on June 23rd through the 25th is going to be teaching Worth It, Negotiation for Creatives here on Creative Live. It's really exciting. It's a course that I'm going to be hosting, and I'm glad that I've got this opportunity to sit down and kind of talk to you a little bit and maybe share some information with the folks out there about what we're going to learn in the course. Uh, because it's something that, as we've been talking earlier today, something that is really important for people out there. Uh, to know and to have information about, but is not frequently talked about. So let's start out by talking negotiation for creatives. Why for creatives? Why is it somehow different for them as opposed to other people? Creatives have a very difficult time asking for the money. It's probably because the work is so personal. Mm -hmm. They invest themselves in the work. They love doing it. They're totally focused on doing it, and it's all wrapped up in their self-worth. And so when it comes to money, they kind of don't want to deal with it. It's hard to put a price on something that you love. And so it's really hard for people to be able to actually either accurately, or it's hard for people to accurately gauge their worth, because that's what you're asking them to do. When it is something that's connected to your personality, to your person, to your, your feelings and your thoughts, you're asking them to put a price on themselves. It's really hard. Um, what is your early experience as a creative now? You have been teaching this for a little while, but before that, what's your background? Hmm. <clears throat> I built a, d a design firm to some size, and uh, over a 15-year period, um, staff of 50, revenues of uh, uh, $10 million a year, and sold the business. Mm -hmm. And through the experience, of course, of building the business, I negotiated contracts for, you know, tiny dollars and large dollars and everything in between and, and always focused on getting the space, if you will, so we could do the work that we needed to do for the client, to help the client. Fantastic. And what was your growth process like learning negotiation for yourself? Yes, great question. Um, like almost every creative I've ever met, I stuck my head in the sand. Yeah and pretended that it didn't have to be done, and uh, just tried to make a deal so I could get on and start doing the work, which is what I loved and felt comfortable with. That's awesome. Uh, so you've got experience yourself, and you know a lot of the mistakes that creatives do make, probably because I'm guessing you made some of them yourself. So what are the big mistakes that you see creatives making in negotiation? Well, probably the biggest mistake of all is simply ignoring the fact that you need to negotiate. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, not knowing that it's expected that the client wants you to be a professional, mm -hmm. to represent yourself as having an expertise that's of real value. And if you simply rush to close, you basically give up the power of your expertise and your very behavior reduces the value that you have to offer. That's really hard because a lot of people do go into negotiation feeling like it's this battle and that they need to win it or that they need to fight it. Is that something that, uh, that you see creatives just shying away from or is that something that you see as true? Well, it's emotionally painful. Yeah. It's a difficult conversation and it brings on all kinds of feelings that we don't like. Mm -hmm. And so we try to avoid it. And uh, we don't recognize that in fact, negotiation with a client over money or time or deliverables or anything else is in fact part of the creative process. And we should see it as part of the research stage, part of gathering information and not be so afraid of it and, and take it on and kind of grapple with it. But it's very difficult to do because those feelings are so powerful. And by the way, creatives are hardwired to be more sensitive and more susceptible to those feelings than the general population. Lots of research on that. We're gonna talk about that during the class. That's fantastic. That's something I'm really excited to learn about. I, I have kind of an armchair interest in psychology, and so I love seeing how it applies to not just what we do in a business, but how we uh, gain satisfaction from our art, gain satisfaction from what we do in life. So I'm really excited to see that. Let's talk a little bit about the workshop. What are some of the big things that people will take away from these three days? Uh, well, as I said earlier, the most important thing they'll take away is the fact that research is that, excuse me, that negotiation is expected. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then going from that, we will, we will 
hammer out how do you deal with these feelings so you can use it to advantage rather than having them humble you. Um, we are, as I said earlier, we are creatives. It is now known through all the great research that's been, doing, been done in the field that we are susceptible to, to uh, uh, giving in and to these vulnerabilities that rise up you know, from our childhood, from early experiences, and so on, coping skills that we've long outgrown. So learning how to deal with that is going to be an important part of the workshop. And then tools and techniques for simply dealing with the realities of negotiation. It's not like buying a used car. Right. It, is, it is an interactive experience that should be actually fun and that the, the, the client is not looking to take advantage of you. The client wants to give you the maneuvering room that you need, the money that you need, so that you can accomplish what it is that they want you to accomplish for them. I love that because people aren't coming to you uh, people are coming to you because they like what you do. Right. They, there's a reason that you're at the negotiation table in the first place. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the you know, fa frankly, the uh, your power is entirely in your expertise, and so the more you can develop your expertise, the better you'll be at negotiating. Yeah. And I love that you are directing this specifically at creatives because we do. There is a lot of information out there about negotiation, but it oh. is tech tends to be for people from a business background or from a sales background or something like that where a lot of the people who seek out those type of jobs are people who have that personality and are comfortable with that and gain energy from it. Yep. So we're talking more to the people who this is foreign. Right. Uh, and you're, you, that's a great point, Russ. The, the, there's tons of great books. Uh, you should see my shelf of books on the subject <laughs> of negotiation that I've picked up over the last 10 years or so. And Great information out there. The, the only, and, and there's nothing wrong with any of those books. I mean, I've, I've, I've gotten information and insights from all of them. But th they don't really deal with this feeling side, which is so fundamentally part of being a creative person. And one of the things I've been doing in preparing for the research is interviewing the people that I'm going to bring on during the class to give insights and advice about their experiences creative. And I've been pre-interviewing them all this week and last week and learning from them these experiences and how, how real it is for them and how these feelings do get in the way and how they, as they've, at their various, sta various stages in their career, have learned how to deal with these things and be, and be successful. So that's one of the things I'm gonna bring, bring to the party is actual experiences. People. That's fantastic yeah. because being able to see how other people have actually overcome the same issues that a lot of people out there are facing uh, really can help draw real life examples of what to do. Exactly. So I like, so basically we're gonna cover why this is hard for people. Mm -hmm. Realistic uh, expectations of how we, or understanding of how we're different mm -hmm. and how we approach life differently and then give techniques and tactics for right. Uh, for how to actually be at the table. Exactly. That's fantastic. Exactly. I can't wait. Um, I'm really excited for this. It's three days. Why don't we give people to, to end here just a little bit of a preview. Do you have maybe one simple tip or tactic that you could share with the folks right now? I once asked for an electric cord and it resulted in a, an assignment over a million dollars. So ask for an electric cord. <laughs> The lesson is you need to ask, feel comfortable asking for what you need. So there you are in the client's conference room, and you are the last of four or five presenters, and you find out there's no electricity and you can't run your projector. All the other presenters gathered the 15 clients around them and presented on their laptop. Mm -hmm. I explained to the client that it would be a disservice to them if they did not see what we had prepared. And I said, could we take 20 minutes and wait for someone to bring an extension cord? Million dollar the result, contract. The result was we got noticed. They saw the show the way it was designed. We won the contract. And you came at that with the expectation that what you had to present had value and it was in their best interest to see it. Exactly. It's always, these are not techniques for harming someone or taking advantage of someone. These are, these are methods of actually advancing the assignment to help the client. I love it. I cannot wait, Ted. It's been awesome being able to sit here and talk to you a little bit now uh, in advance of the course. So guys, 
June 23rd through the 25th, uh, here on Creative Live, worth it. Negotiation for creatives. Uh, I would recommend going to the course page right now. Click the RSVP button so that you'll get a reminder because you don't want to miss this. We're going to help you to understand how you can n not just get more money, but have more satisfying experiences with your clients, how to actually make your job be what you want to be able to do. We all have these dreams and these desires to make something powerful, emotional, something that will have an impact. And being able to have the resources to do that is key to it. And that's the power of negotiation. So we hope that we'll see you here June 23rd through the 25th with Ted Lenhart for Worth It Negotiation for Creatives. We'll see you then.